company call a doctor because bad medicine is back. Over there's the Diamond Dave you. Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at this is season two, episode five. This must come as a shock. I am so excited to be diving into this. I just want to see where we go. I love this show. We saw that we were on a different planet last time, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see where that goes. There's a lot more going on than just being on a different planet. <laughs> that's for sure. I can't wait to get into it. Well, yeah, I'm awesome. happy that we, we are finally back on the Invincible train here. Cannot wait. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, we're picking right up. Oh, look at all the blood he's lost. I mean, he did get his ass whipped pretty yeah. good in that. Mm -hmm. that <sighs> oh, Jesus, man. Mark, where's Nolan? The Viltrumites took him. I'm sorry. The city, these people, it's all our fault. You saved my life. <laughs> and your brothers. <sighs> my dad and I hadn't been here. None of this would have happened. If your father hadn't been here, I wouldn't have a son. And if you hadn't been here, we both would have died. Thraxen lives are short compared to yours. Our culture doesn't assign blame. We only look forward. We had no time. Oh, wow. That's interesting. We will rebuild, Mark. Count on that. Look at that level of optimism. <laughs> wow. Whoa, how much time has passed now? Yeah. Mason Quinn, you ought to get a get up like that. Looking yeah. like a Roman emperor or something. You know, uh, it's, it's, oh, hey! You all saw it! That's it's a little short. <laughs> it's, oh, oh, it's okay. You can return to your planet and your center for learning and drink. College. <laughs> <laughs> drink. Your people must need your strength. Eh, there's tons of heroes on Earth. I'm sure they got it covered. Well, oh! Oh. Uh. Before my unlimited power, <laughs> unlimited power. <laughs> Heard that before? No, no. <laughs> that's that's, that's it. it. It's time you returned home. But there is something else I must ask of you. Take your brother with you. I was just gonna say. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. What are you talking about? You're his mom. Yeah, not for long though. No. Look how much older I am than when you first arrived. Your brother ages quicker than you, but far slower than my people. I'll be gone before he can form a sentence. Everyone he knows here will soon be dead. Generations will pass before he's even an adult. Wow. Mm -hmm. My life has run its course. <laughs> Remember me, child. Someday I hope you'll understand why I had to let you go. Very soon you'll be all he has, and he will need someone. Oh, <laughs> nice. I like it. I wonder how his powers are gonna be. The being, the brother? Yeah, yeah, being part Viltrumite, part Thraxian. Thanks, Paul. See you tomorrow. Well, if he gets the powers, because wasn't uh, Nolan always worried about that too? It's from all of us at the office. For the house we sold? We all know how hard it's been for you, but it's good to have you back. Wasn't he a dashing mm -hmm. feller? Paul's trying to slide into there. That's what he's up to, mark mm -hmm. my words. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Mom. <gasps> Mark! Oh. Got a uh, stepson for you. <laughs> two months. I try not to worry, but even Cecil's been frantic. He's. Only two oh. months? <laughs> 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 Who is that? Well. No. <laughs> well, she's going to need a bigger glass. Yeah. I, I, I don't even have the words. <laughs> <laughs> even know if Nolan was alive. I, I, I didn't even know if I wanted him to be alive. Now he's left another planet in ruins and his his new kid is sitting in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Your dad didn't have a choice. He's never on the hook for the lives he destroys. Just leaves it for everyone else to clean up again and again. Well, that feels like a foreshadow. Children that age need constant care. Well, he ages fast. Clop. He won't stay a toddler for long. Maybe I could take a year off from college to look after him. What? No, absolutely not. I've been gone for two months. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't like 50% of the grade just attendance? There's got to be other options. Like what? He's purple. 
<laughs> yeah, this one's a little. Uh, he's my brother. A little complex. Oh. I can't just. He's family. You know, in five days, he's going to be like 14. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, not five, but. Don't quit school, Mark. <laughs> like it matters. <laughs> it's probably a hoax, but we can't risk it. I want to report in an hour. No, I wonder if he's going to ask Cecil some questions. Yeah, I have a minute. We're a little busy, Donald, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Kick rocks, Donald. <laughs> uh -oh. Everybody out. We're doing it now. You heard me. I need the room. <laughs> oh, he's loving oh, me say that. I need the room. I need the room. <laughs> need the room. This is that's, an aggressive diamond, side of Don. That's how Diamond Dave gets us out of the studio. <laughs> I need the room. Need the room, guys. <laughs> I need the, need I the, need the studio. Get out. <laughs> After Omni-Man went bad last year, we blew up our surveillance house to stop him. You triggered it after getting everyone to safety. You barely made it out alive yourself. Or did you? Why don't I remember it? You were in shock. You got burned pretty bad. Burned? Is that what you call this? With respect, sir. What did you do to me? Upgrades. <laughs> we can rebuild him. Is it like a subconscious thing that they saved and... Like a RoboCop type Rover's thing? about to find no. out. I'll shut up. You are. For most of it. Lights. What is that? It's a it practice is, spot. It is you. Damn sight better than your old one, ah. you ask me. <laughs> Sorry, that face. Omni-Man's body shielded you for most of the blast. When we pulled you out, your brain was intact. The rest of you, not so much. It's like Robo. Mm -hmm. Cecil, what the hell am I now? You're you, but better, stronger, alive. That. <laughs> alive. I knew you were cold, but I never knew you were. Uh, sirs. What? <laughs> wow, they gave us that answer right away. Yep. Thank you. Since when did you start locking the window? <laughs> Mark, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I started locking it after that giant bug dressed like a dog showed up. <laughs> you were gone a long yeah. time, like forever in college years. What happened? Uh, a lot. Look, I'll, I'll tell you all about it, but I need to see Amber first. Oh, good luck. Sure, ditch me <laughs> for your girlfriend, why don't you? Well, I'm sure she's well, gonna be yeah, real. It'll give you time to put all my what? posters back up. <laughs> <laughs> When exactly were you planning to tell me you were back? You were gone two months. Now you don't even check in? I needed to see my mom and my girlfriend first. We had a deal, Mark. You promised if I put you in the field, you'd follow orders. You don't get to pick and choose when that applies. That's right. Things were just peachy. <laughs> Are we going back to that? Yeah. It's like nice. uh, the incredible Skeletor. Like, uh, uh, like a hybrid. It's like Skeletor mixed with Shredder. With the Hulk. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, he just saw him turn. What I did out there, what I found was important. You already know, don't you? Oh, boy. Well, he has your oh, whole house he bugged. He yeah. knows, he knows. Passive monitoring, mostly certain keywords trigger a closer listen. Ooh. Oh. All right, since you already know everything, I'll go see my girlfriend like I planned. Fine by me. I'll send a team to pick up Nolan's kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're more qualified to take care of him. He's my brother, not a science experiment. Call your people off. They're already on their way. <sighs> Call them off, now. Doesn't work for me, brother. Fine. I'm sure your mom will love looking after her ex-husband's new kid. Ouch. Oh, what a... Hit him with it. Well, Dude, this story is so good. Nice Coming. All right, which version of Amber are we going to get here? Oh my god, you're back. <laughs> All right. It took me to this insane planet. Terium in <laughs> the planet Arium. Guys, this is my boyfriend Mark. Hey dude. Nice to finally meet you. Wow, so he is real. <laughs> oh, of course. What happened out there? So the kids at your mom's have <laughs> <laughs> I want to know everything I missed. College is no joke. My grandpa died. I didn't take it too well. Oh. Mm, here we go. I thought with my dad gone, he was at least done ruining my life, but... He can't change how I feel about you, no matter how many planets he destroys. <laughs> <laughs> what about two more? <sighs> oh, boy. This is... 
What a layer they just pulled back yeah, on this is, story. Is Donald line. gonna lose it here? I'm. Oh. What's this all about? Dream sequence. Hmm. Please. Dream sequence. Ah, uh, what the hell is happening? Ah. Uh, Are you alright, sir? Dream sequence. What is it? Is that what you were saying? I can't. Yeah, I, was, I can't hear. Hey, 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 hey he's one for a hundred. Yeah, I'll, I'll open it up. Sequence. I know how my team's powers work. Mm. Then you must understand that this kind of training is hazardous for her. I've developed a simulation and. Hey. I can hear you, you know? <laughs> oh. It's not his job to track my transformations. And it's not yours either. Oh. Wow. If you get this controlling after one date, there's not going to be another one. Wow. Wow. Oh, that was no. gentlemen to <laughs> not, not be so canceled. logical. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> 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 you know people trying to kill us every single day, right? Just call, please. <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> it's coming from Mars, headed directly for Earth. Oh, we tried boy. calling, but they're not answering. It may be unmanned. Except it's packed to the gills with biomatter. I wonder if there's anyone here with insider knowledge of Mars. Boom. Yeah, he does. Friends. I have a secret to unbury. I am not a human person from Earth <laughs> like I once told you. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're a Martian. <laughs> you all knew that? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> and why you're here. Okay, well, I was born a baby Martian. <laughs> I hated living underground. I wanted to see the stars. Run! <laughs> so when the opportunity presented itself, I took it. Oh. I met all of you. Wait a second. What happened to the real astronaut? Well. I thought they'd find him before the sequins did. Find him and kill him, you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, one might guess it's that may them. maybe, and this is a maybe, he possibly oh. became a possessed host for the singular and terrifying sequin hive mind. I'm so sorry. Look at that guy. It's all your fault. Yes, you understand now. <laughs> <laughs> there will be consequences for this. But that ship cannot be allowed to reach Earth. Consequences. <laughs> there are millions of sequids on that ship, maybe hundreds of millions. We won't be enough. Look, I realize this is out of character, but I have an idea. Just launch a nuke at it? Yeah. Can't we just do that? Blow the thing up? It's not the worst idea you've ever had. Stones till my arm is sore. Shit. You know... It <laughs> I'm not in the mood, Rex. <laughs> and I'm not here to make fun of you. Seriously. Ugh, or to get in your pants. <laughs> Everybody. Up. To fuck up is human. Shakespeare said that. <laughs> we do our best. One of my favorite terms. I checked on that couple you pulled from the river. They're gonna make a full recovery because of you. So dry your tears, tell your parents to go shove it up their asses. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Now, what do you want? I do have a tiny favor to ask that involves a space rocket ship. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> when the Viltrumites were taking that away, he told me to read his books. What if he hid something in them, like slid it between the pages? Well, it's not her fault. How was she mm. supposed to know? Right. It's not a good time, Cecil. Kick rocks, Cecil. Mark, I need you to go to space again. What? I just got back from space. You were actually pretty pissed about it. <laughs> <laughs> just come back safe, okay? Always. Poor Amber. Ooh, I don't, is this showing frustration here, Amber, of the wear and well, tear? What, well, what is she doing now? Hey, Janny, oh, you guys okay. got plans tonight? Nah, everything's fine, just, I want to take my mind off things. And I, I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, yeah. she went through a lot, so well, I get why she's well, potentially. Yeah. Because she's trying to be understanding, you know, with the whole, yeah. like, I know what I signed up for, but. That room for one more? Eve! Didn't sound super <laughs> Ah, see, look at that hug. I'm still pulling for that relationship. Ah, this guy over <laughs> here. Oh, God. <laughs> still. If you succeed, well, I taught you everything you know. If not, <laughs> I guess we're all. 
<laughs> Thanks, Rex. Oh, hey, but Rex did an awesome pep talk, so come on. We're supposed to monitor other threats while they're gone. Oh, sure. Like there's going to be two huge world-shattering emergencies. Don't, at don't say that. <laughs> what are <Don't>. the odds? <laughs> I'd like to see that, Ray. Oh, it's coming. Why would you? Usually how it starts. Mm. Boom, and here we that? go. Hey, right, who's there? For f sake, Jerry, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> well, I, I Hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> an eagle you with a fish. <laughs> Your damn snack and get out of. Oh, oh. Oh, no, oh, oh. no Jerry. <laughs> damn lizard people. And remember, kill fast. Ask questions later. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, cheese ball. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you want them to know we're here? Of course. This just speeds things up a bit. <sighs> yeah, my dad's a. But you went. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shapesmith here is going to answer all of our questions. The warship sensors are very powerful. They'll know the difference between space garbage and whatever we are. You're telling us this now? Yes, I'm telling you this now. Also, they <laughs> won't hesitate to fire missiles when they spot us coming. And there it is. Th those are the missiles I was talking about. Everyone, close to me now! Oh, wow. Yeah, they definitely did not hesitate. No. Well, she'll protect, yeah, yeah, protect them in the bubble. That puts them in a pretty precarious situation. Yeah. How do they move? And some wings. Two garlic knots. <sighs> Two garlic knots. I love garlic knots. Love them. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep those. ordering, Ray. Cecil's just checking in to say hi. Right, Cecil? Right? Oh, boy. Oh, it's up to you guys. We have enough oxygen for at least 10 minutes. I'm not sure I can hold this together for 10 minutes. Everyone who can fly, push towards the ship. Ah, interesting. No. Oh, oh look she at that. can penetrate Whoa, it. Okay. Go. Hello, fellow Martians. You're the one. You let all of this happen. But we are here to help. They'll enslave you immediately. We're not like the rest of our kind. Gross. No. Ugh. Got it. They share minds. Now all the uh. sequins know you're here. Uh, Carrie boy. Payton pulling I say double duty. Like uh, Payton, yeah. yeah. Carrie's pulling some double duty in this one. Oh, oh shizzle. We sealed the tunnel so there's no other way. Yeah. That's what you think. It's getting awfully close to you know uh, where. Yeah. Die fast. <laughs> My pizza's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. Oh. It's a bunch of goo. Get them uh. off him. It's the only way. Oh, good luck with that. Yeah, there's no way they can. Oh. Oh, what is it, just mouthing all of them? What is going on here? I disrupted their nervous systems, but they'll be awake again soon. Kill as many as you can while they're out. That's useless. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. oh got her good. Oh. There you go. Oh, the old sliding leg take. Oh. No. Ah. Oh Jesus. All right, now she can't go. Yeah, you can't lose the original. <laughs> Trying to multiply, she can't. No. Oh. So we just lose. We Kate. lost her. She's done. Are you crazy? I can use my suit to build an amplifier for the pulse I used earlier. It'll hopefully stun them long enough for us to get Russ off this ship. We're we gonna lose robot. How long? Five minutes. Five Five minutes. Minutes. <laughs> this thing's gonna be over in two, two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, ah. I, knew, oh, I knew you'd come through with my top gun. Hey, oh no. Pay for that. Oh. Oh, Rex. Yeah, Rex is gone. She's next. Uh -huh. oh. 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 Maybe not. Oh. Ah. 
Ugh. Nice. That's uh reminds me of a scene from uh, No TV. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Expe she doesn't stay small. I was just gonna say but, she, but he chewed, I thought. No, I don't think so. Oh. Oh! oh. It's not working. His skin's impenetrable. Yeah. What? Do we wow. lose another? Oh, okay. Oh, got her. Oh. 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 Just do it, you prick. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh! oh! Of course they did! Just wait. Oh, wow. I'm not dead. I was pretty sure I was dead. He felt like... It's Rogan. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his character. That's Alan. Alan. Um, hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I broke I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, this is expensive. <laughs> I am glad to see you in one piece, Alan of Unova. Yeah. One very large and ripped piece. <laughs> I'm afraid I owe you an apology. Yes, you do. I turned off your life support machine. Why would you do that? I knew without it you would either die. Or recover stronger than before. It's an awfully <laughs> big gamble. Yeah, I gambled with your life. <laughs> you may now be able to stand your ground against a Viltrumite. Yeah, I doubt that. They hit me so hard my eye came out. I remember <laughs> seeing that, like, from my own eye. It was very strange. <laughs> Rematch anytime soon. If I even see another Viltrumite, I'm gonna... Shit, you're a Viltrumite? No. I am something much worse. <gasps> I am the only Viltrumite. I am Optimus Prime. Optimus. That's our guy. Yeah. Until you told me about Invincible. I need you to go back to Earth and bring Invincible here. He is the key to turning the tide oh. of this war. Oh. You can't. It's not oh, exactly on Earth. Oh, man. Wow, what a banger. What an episode. Oh, that was oh, incredible. Pause. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Hold on on the pause. Wow. Those breaks. You know, guys, if the writers of Fear of the Walking oh, Dead. Here we go. If the writers you of know, Fear of the Walking Dead. Like this episode. If, Anna, if it ain't a reaction <laughs> ripping on the writing of Fear of the Walking Dead. <laughs> it I mean, ain't a reaction like, at all. This was like awesome. I know. Like how, how do some... This animated series is whooping a lot of ass in some other shows. Oh, yeah. How great this story is. So. It's like six stories going on at yeah, once, I know. and they're a, all good. Um, this yeah. did not feel like 40-whatever minutes. No, not at all. And they, uh, all. they packed in so much, but it was they so They did awesome. pack in a lot. Yeah. yeah. A lot all right. On. Unbelievable. Did, would, Talk did, to him, did, Quinn. Did you want... Well, I don't know. Did Diamond Dave want to keep going? Or yeah. yeah. No, all right. Yeah, okay. so I thought it was pretty interesting with this whole episode in... In a way, I guess I kind of appreciate the break, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think this was planned very well to be like, all right, we're going to do four and four. I really hope they don't keep doing that, like Walking <laughs> Dead style with what Kirkman did with them, yep. eight and eight, because now we're going to... The way that Kirkman did it, I'm sure a lot of you know this already, <clears throat> but Kirkman said, always said with Gimple, you know, the first eight is its own kind of story, and then the second eight, or it's kind of, kind of its own little story there. So they tried to keep it in one, but give different perspectives on certain things. But either way, what a banger of an episode. We got Donald. We got to find out he's RoboCop. We got uh, Deb, who found out about Nolan and little baby bro. We got uh, Amber, who had a lot of stuff personally happen to her in those oh, two months. Yeah. And then, you know, Mark's thing. I mean, keep going on and on with the list. You guys already know. But either way. I just love how so much is going on in that every time they go to a different story that you're just intrigued and locked. Well, at least me, I'm intrigued and locked in on it because they're so good. Like Cecil, I hope we never lose him. I mean, I know he's got some old age on him in, in the show here, but I hope we never lose him because he is the perfect 
tweener character where he's making the hard choices, which make you are like, God, I hate you for that, but yep. it's right yep. most of the time. Yeah. Um, we got Invincible yeah. and the crew uh, trying to they take out these octopus things, whatever they're called in here. And then we did we really lose those guys? And yeah, Rex, Rex really and lost a hand? Like, mm -hmm. I'm still in disbelief. Kind of still don't want to believe it. But I, I'm sure it happened, really. <laughs> so, call, yeah, I'm in denial on that one. I, Even though it clearly happened. Yeah. But again, so dream much sequence. is going on. Yeah, dreams. I'm <laughs> blaming it on a dream sequence. That's what I'll go with. Not likely. <laughs> again, I know, folks, it, yeah. it happened. Yeah. But I, again, I'm in denial on it. But again, the, the you know, the I love how they have these superheroes in such vulnerable positions and we can lose them. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> some of these other superheroes, often, superhero, often yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And some of these yeah. other superheroes that we're, you know, world that we're in, it's sometimes predictable. Yeah, sometimes one or two can get their ass beat. We're, we're talking about a whole team getting their ass whooped. So it's pretty great. Um, again, what a <laughs> what an impactful episode. And then we got Alan back. Mm -hmm. Again, there's so much. Pick, pick whatever storyline you want in this, and it, it's yeah. great. Uh, I, I'm just super impressed with this story. Uh, again, I don't know anything out of the comic. So if it's like, the, I'm from what the comments are saying is like, the comic is like even twice as better. So... Gosh, if they can keep this going for a while, keep it up. I'm in. Give me more. Yeah, the thing that... Okay, so I had a bunch of things that kind of struck me as the episode got no went. Got no the the first thing that I'm wondering about is what, where the hell is the multiverse type thing that they teased us with in the trailer? I assume that's probably going to come later in the season, but that was a whole thing of Mark and Nolan taking over Earth and the place was in ruins. Well, the dude with the brain? You, yeah, like how are we going to... Like, when does that come about? Because that was all in the trailer, so I'm kind of wondering where we're, where we're at here with only, you know, a handful of episodes to go. Um, the, uh, poor Steven Yoon. <laughs> the guy just gets the crap beat out of him in, like, every show he's on. I mean, the guy can't catch a break, but, again, it's so good to have so many of our actors back. Um, guys, I said this before in the first season, and I just I can't get past it. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you may feel one way or the other, but I can't get, pa get past this stupid college thing with Mark. Like, okay, if you're that worried about it, like – after you're done being a superhero go do a six week coding boot camp and you'll be fine like the fact they keep using this college thing as a crutch where it's something that he has to do in addition to being a superhero if they would just leave it with him his mom and amber as his main concerns i just every time they bring up the college thing i just laugh about it it's so ridiculous to me and i know many of you in the comments have we've you know some of you agree with me some of you don't and that's fine but that's the one thing that i just i laugh about it every time it By comes the way, up he did go to college so it's not he hates college yeah right I, know I did go came off, but it's like mark's a superhero like he, he rebuilt an entire city in two months basically like i'm pretty sure he'll be fine but uh and then the internal struggle that Mark still has where the obvious thing, the obvious path that Cecil will lay right in front of him, he doesn't want to take it. He wants to find another way. It's like with his little brother. Well, we just going to call Cindy Lou down the street, the 14 year old, to have her come babysit your blue alien brother, you know, purple. worse or purple. We're set up yeah, to handle that. Right. We can do it. And he says, no, he doesn't want to do it, but it's like, okay, what's your solution? Like you don't have one. And that's, I like how that's showing Mark's early growth, a little bit of bullheadedness, and he hasn't quite come into his own yet. Because if he did, if Mark could figure everything out and knew it, it'd be a boring show if he didn't have any journey to go on to become better. So I do like how they're throwing those little things in there, the little character flaws that Mark does have. Um, the again diamond dave you hit on it with the so many storylines they have going on at once like what did they give us maybe two minutes total of screen time with with donald's story and you were like immediately sucked, sucked into it so they can do so much with so little again something else i appreciate on this show 
What I would like, and I'm not sure if this is a spoiler, so I'm almost hesitant to ask for it, but I'm trying to figure out where our heroes rank in levels of power because I remember a lot of you saying like Battle Beast is way up there and then everybody else kind of falls in at some level below. I'm kind of wondering where Alan's at right now, and I'm sure we'll probably find out in the next couple episodes what he's capable of. Maybe you don't of. answer that. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't want to well, okay. I mean, I, take we have to at surprised. least consider that the guy was telling him you might be able to stand with the villain. Yeah, with the villain. Yeah. Yeah. And that says a lot. But yeah. like our our whole other crew, you know, Bulletproof and company, everybody else we have, I'm, I'm trying to figure oh, out where yeah. everybody I stands agree. in their abilities. Because like like you said, we just lost three of our heroes in, in one battle just like that. And I, I'll admit, I kind of thought the Lizard King was kind of be... Uh, I thought it was a joke. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think he was, was going to be a, a serious threat. I, I thought they'd come oh, in there, the kind of mop the floor with them, and it would be all right. <laughs> That's but, why I think they made the joke where Rexy goes, I thought you guys were going to be easy easy to beat and i think that's why they threw that in there yeah totally so this episode did come as a shock to me just like the title says so so much good stuff on the way absolutely love this show and can't wait for more uh they've been crushing it yeah what a great way to come back into the invincible season i mean we had four great episodes and now we came back into this first one was just it was just boom 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 did not feel like the 40 minutes we had him you know rebuild a society come back with his brother you know you know uh uh she uh she, she's back to work. Deb is back to work. Yep. You know, you have Amber had the loss of her grandfather, and then she had to try. She had to keep on trying to explain where Mark was to all of her friends. Going, well, is he even real and stuff like that? <laughs> you had we get Alan back at the end, but in the process of getting him back and getting him jacked and ready to possibly stand up to a Viltrumite, we lose uh, Rhea and Kate and possibly Rex because they didn't show it yet. So I'm assuming that's how. Because they left everything on a cliffhanger for us for the next episode that we're going to be able to see what all goes down with that. It's nice to see. It was nice to see Rex actually have a, a nice speech for once for him to try and, you know, give someone a pep talk. Because usually, you know, he's always a slapstick comedy. You know, Dave and I know him from, you know, uh, Jason from The League and how he's out, how he is Rafi. We should and have he, known that would be the end of him. And so, like, <laughs> so, like, we always knew him as comic relief, so it was nice to actually see him give a nice pep talk to Eve, and then it was great to see her come back to the team because, obviously, right now they've – They've really needed her for this whole <laughs> excursion up to the ship. And then we still have the squids to deal with. And then Lizard King doing the old Jerry the King Lawler where you stay on the outside of the ring the whole time so you don't get in for the Battle Royal so you can try and win it at the end and possibly uh, pull one over on Rex. And so we just don't know what's going to happen. So I'm definitely ready for the next episode to see some of these storylines get you know yeah. get done and i didn't even bring up donald and that's another you know before you go like what is with kirkman and left hands yes yeah, oh really lost his left hand rick rick we got aaron yeah, a bunch of them we got merle we got i mean the list goes on folks but I, i'm just I, I, all dominant right-handed so yeah. they want to no, get no, it no, 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 i think i think honestly i think the answer is i think the answer is right i think i think if you were to take out with most people being right-handed dominant just for let's just take Rick and the Walking Dead, at least he can still function to some extent if you have your dominant hand where it's like, yeah. I can't write anymore. I can't throw a ball. Can't I can't throw anything. I can't Punch. shoot. I can't use a weapon. So I think it's just in the interest of that. But who knows? If I have a gripe about this particular episode, which I have very few and possibly only this one, and I know it's been done before, I just... I, I think his name is Peter Cullen, the voice of uh, yeah. Oh, for Optimus? Peter of Optimus. He just, yeah. I, it, it's it's just Optimus Prime, <laughs> right? It's like I, it's in the, it's funny because we we we've seen so many different animated projects where half the fun, as Answer said before in, in, in intros, half the fun is like guessing who it is and oh my god, it's this person's voice and then you hear Peter, nope sorry that's, that's, he's the one guy who's off the table yep. it's, it's, it's Optimus Prime into my childhood, just leave yeah. it alone well, yeah, that's true, it's done yeah. but um, no, I, and these guys did a great job of summing it up, they did such a phenomenal job of, of wrapping so many stories into one episode um, and, they, and they all feel meaningful. Of course, we're on a different planet. You know, the, the mother of, of Mark's little brother. That was and it good goes through the, the beginning. Yeah, I mean, that was there, there was so much there. You know, that was that was wild. It was crazy seeing him rebuild so fast. He came back. Of course, you know, they have 
it's just multiple stories going on at the same time but you don't really feel all that much like they're being brushed over too fast mm -hmm. it's like they give you enough substance with each storyline where it kind of keeps you engaged but you're not like well you know yeah, I, I will and it's the perfect amount of complexity where you don't get lost in it yeah yep. i just i just think you know diamond dave started off with it you know i know he, he jokes a lot about fear the walking dead but i mean when you see oh, it's a, not a joke no i mean I'm, we, was we just use it this. as we just use it as kind of the you know the it's a running the, gag yeah <laughs> the, the, the running gag for when you do see something that's done so well um as this was does or it was done um i'm a little surprised yeah, was this uh the the battle um wasn't ready to lose duplicate and it's oh, the crazy thing is it was just one after the next after the next it's like make a few extras just in case i don't know if she's got a limit yeah that was wild i thought our girl was going to be able to blow dude up and it just wasn't enough and it's it's so interesting same thing would happen it's interesting that they gave us that because because how many times in the avengers did we see Yep, that's the first thing I thought Thanos of when she did it. And Ant Man. Well, if Ant Man would have just mm. crawled up Thanos's nose, nose <laughs> and expanded, it would have ended all of it. However, people came back and said, no, Thanos' skin, that wouldn't work. And now you kind of get a little example of that. So I think it's interesting that they kind of gave us that because it was like oh yeah well that's what's gonna happen but you can do that with an animated series and of course given the timeline it's you know coming out after you know one of the biggest movies in cinematic history released so you can kind of take um discussion points of would it be possible and say eh, not quite so i thought that was really good um i i just think all in all they do a great job um i think our team that is on the spaceship is in some deep, deep shit. <laughs> um, so I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. Uh, it's nice diving back into this. Uh, you know, the, the break is what it is. You know, we're, we're not unused to it with some of the shows that we love. So it's not uh, it's not the end of the world. I know some people don't really get or understand, which a lot of reasons behind it. But all in all, uh, another another great episode. It's fun to be kind of back here. Although when, when there is a split and you come back for the second half, it's kind of like... Well, now it's going to be over real quick. Yeah. You know? but Because um, I don't remember any of the, I, maybe I'm wrong. Like, I think I remember something with Alan in the trailer, but do you guys remember anything from the trailer we saw that we did for the channel? Any of this being in there? Like, I don't well, they think might have, They might have given us some, some new stuff. I'm, I'm almost know? tempted to go back and watch was, it. Trailer is probably more for part one of season two. Mm. If if I'm remembering correctly, uh, so. yeah, yeah, but that it might have had a little. We didn't know there was going to be a break until we started. It. Yeah, that could much. be. That could yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering if they're going to if they're going to give the if Cade and maybe Ray if they can get the uh, immortal treatment where remember they brought him back to life. Yeah, immortal's but, back. But Grant, yeah. I mean, yeah, he remember he got he got Dunzoed what twice, three yeah. times. And Nolan, so you know, Nolan so, got him real good. So yeah. I'm wondering if they can somehow do manipulate that or even you know put him in the robocop thing if uh like kate's brain is still ready to go or i don't <laughs> think <laughs> nothing left, nothing left. No, no this smashed them together it's yeah. ray that was yeah, yeah, ray that was gulped that was, yeah. and then oh, even yeah. if there was something left of her up here uh rex kind of his hand kind of took yeah, care that, of that, that as that, well that, that yeah. scene in the so. the newish robocop was what as creepy as it gets as far as oh, i didn't see the newish one. no i, I didn't I see the newest let myself one so be no spoilers oh i thought that's no no i was about to say the original the original, original. Oh, okay. yeah, that was the original we're talking about yeah. none of you guys have seen the new one never no. oh snap oh. You know. Oh, you okay. know. All right. Well, you know. I, 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 not according to the box office yeah, numbers, they might Yeah, not. it's got a three out of ten. So we can't <laughs> I mean, wait I'm to catch it. you on the next episode of Invincible. <laughs> so for Diamond Dave, Alton Oak, and that's Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.